Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I am new to YouTube and new to doing video tutorials so please bear with me. Um, today we are going to do the unicorn blanket um, that was requested. It is a Grafgan. Um, you can either follow along with me or you can go to my Etsy shop and uh, purchase the pattern and you know do it yourself or follow along with the pattern if you want to jump ahead. Uh, to start this tutorial, you're going to need an H hook, the 55 millimeter. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need bobbins. I like the small ones and I like the bigger ones uh, for bigger projects and bigger sections on the blanket. Also, you're going to need the main color which is a Red Heart Super Saver in the Pretty in Pink. And then you're also going to need white. I love using the Burnett Premium. And also in the Burnett, you're going to need purple, which is called Baby Lilac. And then you're going to need blue, which is called Robin's Egg. Also going to need pink, again, in Burnett Premium. I'm not sure about the name since I lost the wrapping. You're also going to need yellow, which is color Yellow Balloon. And you're going to need black, which is oh, black. Okay, to start this tutorial, we are going to start with the pretty in pink color. So what I want you to do is start with your slip knot. Now uh, we're going to chain 131. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I will see you back here when you have 131 stitches. Okay, we are back with 131 chains. So this blanket is done in half double crochet. Um, I also forgot to mention that the blanket is going to measure 41 inches by 69 inches. It's about a throw size for a child. So we're going to go so I want you to do half double crochets in each stitch across all the way to the end. You should have 130 stitches at the end, and we will meet back here. Okay, we are back, and we should have 130 stitches. I'm at the end here. Now we're going to chain one, and we're going to turn our work. Now we're going to start the pattern on row one. This did not count as row one. This is our foundation. So we're going to start row one with 130 stitches all the way across and we're going to do this for eight rows. So you're going to have eight rows of half double crochet of just pink. So we're going to yarn over, you're going to go into that first stitch. Now the chain one that you did before we turn does not count as a stitch. So that's one two, three, four, five, and then we're going to continue all the way to the end. Make sure you chain and turn, and we should have eight rows of pink half double crochet. I'll see you when you get back. All right, welcome back. I have done my eight rows of half double crochet. Now, as I was working on this, I realized that I think normally people would 
go in here and wonder, do we go in these two hoops? What you do? So I'm going to go in there, which makes it nice and straight on there. And then you would chain one, and then you would turn. So then you would go in that first stitch and then continue on. So now that we have our eight rows, we're going to be on row nine and we're going to do 47 pink stitches. So make sure you have your chain one and you turn first stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. So go to 47 stitches and then when we come back we're going to need one white bobbin and then another pink bobbin because we're going to be doing 82 stitches after that. Okay, I have my 47 stitches. I did not finish the 47th stitch because um, we're going to do a, we're going to add a color, our first color here. I'm going to add white. So get a good length tail on there. And we're going to hook it on there and we're going to actually finish the stitch. Just tug on the back a little bit. Okay, bring the tail forward. I like to stitch over it once and then I'll leave it in at the end. Yarn over, go into that next stitch. Don't finish it because we only need one stitch of white. And then clip your bobbin back and kind of just push that to the side there and your tail as well in the back. So this will be one stitch of white. So now we're going to add another bobbin. This one is going to be our main color again. Again, give a nice generous tail. Okay, we're going to put that on and finish this stitch. Give that tail a little tug, both ends. Bring this tail forward. And then with your pink color, we're going to do 82 stitches. Give that a little tuck there. So that's what your color change should look like with one white. The rest should be 82 stitches. Chain one, turn, and I'll see you back here. So I'm going to put my last stitch in here. So that makes 82. Chain one, turn your work. So now we're on row 10 and we're going to do 81 stitches of pink. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and I'll see you when we get to the white bobbin. Okay, so I did 81 stitches, which should leave me with one stitch before the white one. Now, everybody does this differently. Uh, this is just the way that I do it. Um, so I'm going to unclip my white, and we're going to need three white stitches. So we're actually going to carry, let's put that, okay, just 
just want to put that tail down. We're actually going to carry the white and finish this stitch. We're going to carry it over, not tight, give yourself a little bit of slack. Okay. So now we finish that one. So now we still have this stitch right here that needs to be done. So one, two, three will be the stitches we need to do. Go under and in that stitch. Okay. So that's one stitch. Two stitch. Now this is going to be the last stitch of white and we're going to go into the pink. So I usually pick up the pink, go into that stitch, but don't finish it. Tug on the pink just a little bit so you don't see that hoop there. Okay, close your white, put it to the side, and then we're going to pick up our pink color. We're going to finish this white stitch. And then continue on. And we're going to do 46 stitches across to the end. Make sure you turn chain one and turn. And this is what it should be looking like. So 81 stitches three white, and 46. And I will see you at the other end. Okay, so I did 46 stitches of pink to the other side. And now we're going to do row 11, and we're going to do 45 pink. So make sure you're still going in that first stitch. So one, two, three, four, five. So do 45 of pink and I'll meet you at the weight bobbin. Okay, so I did 45 stitches of pink. I didn't finish my 45th stitch. Now I just wanted to do a little tip here. When you are clipping your bobbins back, I do recommend that you try and get as close to the project as you can so they don't tangle with each other. So my white one's pretty long, but I'll be taking that out. So, so we have another stitch that needs to be worked in. So we need five white. So again, I'm going to take my white Bring it over and finish that 45th stitch. Pull on the back a little bit, not too tight. Yarn over. Under that hoop into the next stitch. Pull through. One. So now you're wondering, what, what about this stitch here? So the reason why I told you not to go tight is because we're going to carry it over to the next one. So that's one white. So under into the next stitch, pull through. So that's two white. And then these two, two, three white. Four white. We need five, so unclip my pink. Yarn over. We're going to go into this one for the fifth white stitch, but we're going to bring up the pink one as well. Into that stitch. Over. So don't finish that fifth stitch of the white there. Finish it with the pink. Pull in the white just a little bit.
and that's what it should look like. So 45 pink, 5 white, and then we're going to do 80 to finish off this row. And just remember at the end you should always have 130 stitches. And I will meet you back at the next row. Okay, so I finished my 80 stitches. So now we're going to go on to row 12. And we're going to do 79 pink. And then I'll see you at the uh, next color change. Okay, so I wanted to come back to show you what happens if you don't have enough and you run out of your bobbin. We're going to add another bobbin, just the same color. So I'm going to work over both these tails just to ensure they are locked in there like that. And I'm just going to leave them hanging there since I'm working on the wrong side of the blanket right now. And then I'm just going to continue working my 79 stitches. Okay, 79. Click my pink. So again, we're left with one pink, and clip my white. So now we need seven white stitches. So again, we're going to carry it over. Make sure you give it some slack. Okay. So now yarn over, under the hoop, into the next stitch under, under, okay, yarn over, grab that loop into the next stitch, pull through both, so that's two, three, four, Five, six, and we need that pink again. So we're going to yarn over, we're going to bring up that pink, finish the stitch, just like that. And we're going to finish it with pink. So 79 pink, 7 white, and then we're going to finish off with 44 pink. Okay, so I finished row 12 with 44 stitches, uh, 130 stitches in total. So we're going to move on to row 13, and we're going to do 45 pink stitches. Now you're going to realize that you're going to be going into the white. If you stop at 44, then I'll catch up with you there and then I can show you what to do with the white. Okay, so I'm at 43 stitches. So I'll finish my 43 and then 44. And then you're going to pick up that white, go into the first white stitch. Okay, put the pink to the side. Now we need five white. One, two, three. Oh, my white's getting tangled up with my pink. Three, four. Five. You're going to have one white stitch remaining, so we're going to bring in our pink. Two, 
unclip the pink. Okay, so we're going to finish the white with the pink. Yarn over, go under the pink hoop into that last white stitch. So that's one pink. Now we need 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Don't finish twenty. And clip up your pink. We're going to be needing a black bobbin. So with a generous tail, we're going to hoop it in. And we're going to finish the pink stitch. We're going to work over that tail once. And we need six black stitches. So one. A little tug. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Don't finish. Now we're going to need another pink bobbin to finish off row 13. Finish that black stitch. There should be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Work over the tail once or twice. It's totally up to you. So one, two. So now we're going to need 54 pink stitches to finish the row 13. And I'll meet you back at row 14. So I'm just about to finish row 13, so I'm at 53. Make sure you go into the two loops right there, uh, 54 chain. And then we're going to turn our work. Okay, so I finished row 13. Now on to row 14. We're going to do 52 pink, and then I will see you at the black bobbin. Okay, so 52 stitches are done. This is the 52nd stitch. We should have two remaining pink ones. I'm going to bring over our black. Finish off the pink stitch with the black color. Make sure it's nice and loose. I want it super tight. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to go into that first pink stitch. We're doing three black. One, under, in, two, and three. So now we're going to be bringing in our pink color, or sorry, our yellow color. And you're also going to need a black bobbin after the yellow. So with your yellow, you hook it on, finish that black stitch with the yellow. I'm going to work over the yellow stitch, over the yellow tail once. I'm going to need four yellow stitches. So one, two, three, four. Should have one remaining 
one black stitch remaining. So we're going to bring in our black bobbin and we're going to do three stitches of black. So we're going to finish off that yellow stitch with the black. into that next black stitch. So that's one. Picking up that pink color, going into the next pink stitch. So that's two, three. Picking up the pink color, going to need 19 pink. So three black, four yellow, three black, and 19 pink. So I did 18 stitches even though I said 19 because I realized we were going to be going into the white. So this is 18. I'm going to finish it. And then I'm going to yarn over, pick up the white color, going into the white stitch pulling through, and that's 19 pink. So now we're going to pick up the white, finish that pink stitch with the white, and now we need three white. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. Don't finish that stitch. I'm going to be picking up the pink, yarning over, going through that white, finishing off. You should have one remaining white stitch, yarn over, under, in, and finish. So it should look like that. So now we need 46 pink stitches to end row 14. So I finished row 14 with 46 pink stitches. Now we're going to do row 15 with 47 stitches. So going into that first stitch, one, two, three, Four, and I'll see you at the end after 47. So I'm on the 46th stitch. Going to finish that. So 46, yarn over, pick up that white, go into the stitch. Okay. And then finish the pink stitch with the white. Flipping your pink back, yarn over, we need one white stitch, grab your pink, yarn over, finish the white stitch with the pink, pulling just a little bit, make it nice and neat, yarn over, you should have one white stitch remaining, under, in, Pull up, finish, so that's one, under, go into the next pink, and finish, so that's two. See how nice and neat that is when you bring up those loops? That's why I like to do it. So now we need 19 pink, so we did two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So don't finish on that 19th stitch. So now we've come to the black. And the pattern asks for... Sorry, my bobbins are getting tangled here. So we need two black. So yarn over. You should only have one pink stitch remaining. So pull through. Yarn over. Under. In. And up. So that's one. Yarn over. Go under that loop again, into the next stitch, and that's two. Flip back your back. So now we need yellow. We're going to do eight yellow. So yarn over. You should have two black stitches remaining. And if you're ever wondering, because it looks like there's three, but there's actually only two. And if you look on the out, on the back side of it, you can see where this bobbin is coming out of that one stitch that might have been a third. But there's only two that are remaining. So we're going to yarn over with the yellow. I'm going to pull it through the black. Make sure that's not nice and tight. Under, in that first black stitch, pull through, that's one, yarn over, under the hoop again, into the last black stitch, that's two, and we need eight. So two, three, four, five, Six. Now with this bobbin, I want to carry it. So six, yarn over, pick up the black. Seven, eight. And there should be one black stitch remaining. So clip away your yellow, pick up your black. And we need two blacks. So finish with the black color, one, we're going to carry that pink color, so you yarn over with the black, pick up the pink into that first pink stitch, pull it up, and that should be two black stitches. And then we're going to finish row 15 with 51 pink stitches. And see you at the end. Okay, so I have finished row 15 with 51 stitches. Now we're going to move on to row 16 and I need 50 pink stitches. I will see you at the black bobbin. Okay, so I'm at the black bobbin now. So now we need two stitches. There should be one pink stitch remaining. So I'm going to grab my black, yarn over, finish, yarn over, under, in. So we need two, one, under, in. That's two. Now we're going to bring in the yellow. So we only need two yellow. So under should only be one black stitch. So one, 
under two. So now we need to do six, six black stitches. And then you're going to need a second yellow, it seems. Okay, bring in a new black bobbin. So finishing off that yellow stitch, we're going to do six black. So not this stitch, the next one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Don't finish off that sixth stitch. So now we're going to bring in a yellow bobbin. And we're going to do two yellow stitches. So one yellow. And we're going to pick up that black string into the first black stitch and that's two yellows one two clip back your yellow starting with the black we're going to do two black finishing off the yellow yarn over into that last black stitch yarn over picking up the pink going into the first pink stitch and that's two black stitches and finishing it with the pink. Now we're going to need 66 pink stitches to finish row 16. So I just wanted to show you, I know I said that we needed 66 stitches to finish row 16, but you're going to see that you're going to come up to the white diamond here and we are just going to work right over top of it and you can actually cut off the white so we're going to work right into the top of that white stitch and then continue on so now you can cut off your second pink bobbin. So cut off the white and cut off the second pink. So some of you are probably wondering, what do I do with my, with my ends? Um, I don't typically put my ends on one side of my project. Um, they're either on the front or the back and then at the end I will uh, weave them in and most of the time you can't see where I weave them in so that's why it doesn't matter if it's on the front or the back but it's completely up to you if you want to have all your ends on one side of your project um, so we're just gonna finish row 16 with 66 and I will meet you at row 17 Okay, so we finished row 60 or 16 with 66 stitches. Now we're going to move on to row 17 and we're going to do 66 pink stitches and I'll see you at the black bobbin.